What is the best head unit for the 8th gen Civic Si? Or how do I install a head unit into my 8th gen Civic Si? Is probably what you're wondering and that's probably why you clicked on this video. If you guys are having static noise in your speakers after installing an aftermarket head unit in an 8th gen Civic Si, that is because of the premium audio system and the factory amplifier. If you guys want to know how to fix that, I will put a link up top in the corner of this video. Go watch that video, it will fix your problem. Second off, if you just want to know how to install install the head unit, just the steps for what trim pieces to remove and everything like that. I will put a second link up top here to my original video where we put a Pioneer double din head unit into this car. But out of all of the fixes and everything that I have done for aftermarket head units in this car, none of them really quite work the way I want them to. And in today's video, we finally have the absolute best head unit you can buy for the 8th gen Civic Si. And that is the iDoing head unit. Now this kit is freaking sick because it comes with the head unit, every single wire harness you need, the full dash kit, literally everything. And if you guys have the static noise in your speakers on this car because of the factory amp, just so you guys know, when you install an aftermarket head unit into these cars, if you don't bypass the factory amp, your head unit is not actually making your speakers sound any better in the car because you are still running your wires through the factory amplifier, which outputs power to the speaker. And the way the factory audio system works in these cars is the head unit just sends a signal to the amp and the amp sends the power to the speakers. So the reason you get that buzzing noise is the head unit is already sending power to the amp. So the amp's freaking out. It's saying, holy shit, I need to turn the speakers on now because I'm getting a power signal. And then that's what outputs the sound to your speakers when you're not even playing music yet and you get that static buzz type noise. The other issue you will get is your sound in the car is going to be insanely loud at like five volume, it's gonna sound like you're on like 27. It's super, super loud. The reason I love this iDoing kit is because it fixes 90% of those problems because they include a wiring harness that actually has a little signal converter on it. And this signal converter changes the frequency that is sent from the head unit to the amp so the amp doesn't freak out as much and doesn't cause a whole bunch of static noise in the speakers and cause the volume to be super, super loud. So as far as I know, I doing is the only company that has done this in their wiring harnesses. It comes with absolutely everything, the RCAs you need to connect. It comes with the harness for steering wheel controls, for your power antenna, and it is all just drop in, plug and play. So let's break into this kit and show you guys what this head unit looks like. I was not kidding when I said that this kit comes with everything you need. It comes with your main harness, all of your RCA connectors, all of the screws to mount the head unit into the dash bezel, a 3M piece for your mic, it comes with your 5G and 4G network routers. Comes with the connector with the slot if you want to install a SIM card for data roaming on the unit. Comes with a dual USB connector, a single USB connector, the connector for your microphone, and a connector that has your reverse camera, your amp turn on, all that stuff on this harness. Then it comes with a massive 12 inch freaking TV screen of a head unit. And it comes with the entire dash bezel and everything. Another thing that this comes with is a GPS tracking device and it also comes with a microphone itself, but I already have those installed in the car because I was testing out this head unit before I made this video for you guys. And before we get any deeper into this, I'm just gonna show you guys how much testing we really did here. Here is all of the other wiring harnesses that we went through trying to diagnose the static noise and all of the issues that these head units have. I have gone through countless amounts of wiring harnesses. There's one, two, three, four harnesses there that we've caught up and gone through with iDoing to try and make the perfect harness for 8th gen Civics because these things have the premium audio system in them and it is so hard to not get that buzzing noise in this offset volume out of the factory amplifier. Another thing that is amazing about iDoing's kit is they actually include the amp on wire in the harness that also runs your steering wheel controls, which no other company does. So since I already have a video completely breaking down how to remove the factory head unit and how to install an aftermarket unit, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to time lapse through removing the factory head unit. Super, super easy. There's only three screws that you got to get to. The rest are all just pop clips. So first trim piece you're going to grab right here. 
It's this trim piece right there is gonna completely remove. I got that all in one pull actually. It's the whole kick panel under your feet. Then you're gonna have one screw on the left side here and it's just a little Phillips number two screw. Once you take that screw out, this entire upper piece can come out and you gotta disconnect all the connectors for your buttons over here. Once you get that side out, this whole assembly is gonna come apart. And before you go reefing on this, trying to pull this all out, there is two screws underneath the head unit. And those two screws are just two little eight mil screws that look like this. But before you get those screws out, you are gonna have to pop off this plastic cover, which sits right underneath here. Sorry, it's really dark, you can't really see in there. But once you pop this cover out, those two screws will be under there and they thread right into the mount for the head unit. So the best way I found was just using a little quarter inch ratchet and an eight mil deep socket or an eight mil shallow socket with an extension. You can get up there and loosen them off. Then once you get this head unit out, you will have to swap over all of your climate controls, the hazard button. And this little airbag piece is actually just gonna chill in behind the whole dash bezel because the screen on this iDoing unit is too damn big. You guys can see the reflection of me there. It is massive. There's my hand for comparison. So it doesn't have space to mount the passenger airbag activation light. So plugging into the back of the unit here, we're not gonna use any of these 5G and 4G little network routers. And I'm not gonna use the SIM card piece just because I just use the hotspot on my phone if I wanna use the internet on there. So the first thing that I'm gonna get plugged in here is my RCA connectors. Normally you wouldn't have to use RCA connectors, but this is gonna help get rid of that static noise in your speakers. So let's get these RCAs plugged in first on that top left connector. Next harness we're gonna plug in is for our microphone. Next harness that I'm gonna use is the dual USB harness. This one is strictly just for charging phones. And the next harness is gonna be the single USB harness, which this harness, if you guys wanna plug in your phone for CarPlay or Android Auto or anything like that, the single USB harness is gonna be the one that you use. So if you're running this in your glove box, I would highly suggest putting some electrical tape or something like that on this harness just so you know this one is different from the other two. And now this harness here, you're only gonna use if you have a backup camera, but we don't even need to use it because the amp connection wire is actually in our main harness and plugs in to the factory wiring with this connector right here. So all we gotta do is just plug this harness right in to the back of the head unit. And just like that, we got everything connected on the back of this head unit. The only other connectors that you guys are gonna have here that I didn't connect right there is gonna be your microphone and the GPS harness which like I said already, I already have in the car. Oh, and the last piece I forgot to connect from this main harness is the antenna, which is off this main harness and just plugs in right over there. This antenna wire doesn't fit into this head unit. They must accidentally put the wrong one on this harness. Good thing I got old harnesses because this antenna wire right here, you can see is much longer than the one that's on this harness. So that's just one little small mess up. I will message them and let them know that this antenna wire is different so that this won't happen to you guys on your kit. But I'm just gonna cut the antenna power wire off of this harness and then I will solder it into this harness here because you don't wanna mess with cutting the actual antenna wire or else you're gonna get a bad signal. All right, I went ahead and got this harness all soldered up, swapped over. Now I can get this antenna plugged right in and it fits perfect. Now we got our antenna wire, everything else ready to go. Let's get the factory one pulled out, swap over all of the climate controls and the hazard button and all that fun stuff and get this thing in the car. All right, so we got everything swapped over from the factory dash bezel to the I doing one, except for this little passenger airbag indicator. This we're gonna plug into the factory harness and we're just gonna leave it sitting loose behind the head unit. Because like I said, there's nowhere to mount this on this big old 11 or 12 inch display. I can't remember what it is. Last thing I got connected here was all of my RCA inputs and outputs. You basically just match them up. You can see front right in, front left in, and then front out right and front out left. Same thing with the other two. Speaker left out, speaker right out. Go to the rear right in and the rear left in. So now that we got absolutely everything hooked up on this, all we're gonna do is hop into the car, plug everything in, and then I'm just gonna run these three USB cords into the glove box. And hopping inside the car just to show you guys how I ran my mic wire and everything like that. Here's my mic wire. I just ran it underneath that vent over top of the cluster there. And then it goes in the side of the dash up through the A pillar and I just have mine mounted right on the A pillar. Then for the GPS, wire that threads into the head unit. I have 
have mine 3M'd up underneath the dash here, and I drove the car like that, and it actually doesn't work. You need to mount the GPS in a spot up on top of the dash where it can actually receive a satellite signal. It doesn't work under the head unit. I don't really care because I always use Apple Maps, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm probably just gonna take this right out of here. But if you guys wanna use this, I'll take it off just so that you guys can see what it looks like. I had some 3M tape on this, but you will need to mount it up on the dash somewhere. I doing told me that they prefer you guys to mount it in like the corner where it has a clear vision through the windshield glass. And if you guys were wondering before what I was talking about with the amp on wire, it plugs into this connector, which also has your steering wheel controls on it. It's this grayish blue type wire that you can see that I soldered back together. And the reason I had to solder it back together was because I've installed and uninstalled installed so many head units in this car. I had to solder it in two spots and extend the wire. But now with I doing one, you'll just plug your steering wheel controls connector in right here. And the amp on wire is integrated into the I doing side of this harness. So let's get everything installed now. And I'll show you guys my favorite features of this I doing head unit. Sick boys, there we go. Head units in, everything's plugged in. Now, I already had this head unit in the car, so I have the beep tones turned off, but usually when you guys press this, there would be a beep tone there. My number one favorite feature on this head unit is the car link, which is gonna be your Apple CarPlay. These are kind of hard to see because the camera is not focusing on everything, but if you go to car link, it will instantly link up to your phone after it says verification approved there. And then it will connect to your CarPlay, which is super, super fast. And let's turn the volume down here so we don't blow our ears off. And then you press play and just like that, my boy Jack Harlow's coming on. And it's on one volume right now, so you can see it is actually decently quiet. If you don't have that signal converter in there that iDoing includes in their package, it would be insanely loud on one volume. I can't play too much of that or else this video is gonna get taken down. Also, my phone's gonna die. One thing I really, really like about these units, and you can do this on most head units, but you can actually go in and change all your equalizer settings. The best part about this, especially with the Civic Si, since you only had two RCA inputs and they don't have a specific input for the subwoofer, you are able to go in here and filter your bass so you can put it to more of a low pass frequency and you can actually change your hertz level on the head unit which is super cool so you can make the bass kind of move around the car wherever you want it to be and the amount of low frequency that you want then there's so many other options in this head unit like you can go to the radio make sure a power antenna is working which it is and that is super loud then you got your date and time and everything like that in the middle which you can adjust through the settings you can connect your phone through bluetooth if you're not using your car play this is really good too for hands-free calling and all that stuff. Then your navigation section is gonna be for if you have that GPS. Mine is showing me in Edmonton, Alberta right now, which is not where I am because I don't have the GPS hooked up. Then if you guys want, you can download movies on here and stuff like that as well. And if you go to your app section, you got Google Chrome, you can change all your steering wheel controlled functions. So I have mine volume up and down set to the volume up and down buttons. And then my channel buttons are set to next song and previous song. And then my mode button, you can see I have set there just to the home screen. Then if you guys swipe through your apps, you can see I have TikTok downloaded on here. I got YouTube downloaded on here. You can download whatever app you want that's on the Play Store, which is right there. And it's super, super cool. Like you guys can do so much on these. It's like having an iPad in your car. And look how freaking big this screen is. Like you can watch movies in here and this is like having a TV screen in your car. This is so sick. And it's literally just like a phone where you can click up here and then you can swipe out all the old apps that you just had in there. You can also change your backgrounds and all that stuff just like my custom background that I have on there. You can also download your own background and then make it the background on the head unit. Like if you download the SI logo for your Honda Civic online or something like that, you can make that your background. This is our channel right here. You can see we're getting pretty close to 2.5K subs, 2.39 right now. We'd See my most recent video, which is on the WRX. Click on it and give her a watch. My Wi-Fi is absolutely terrible in the shop, but you guys can see my video is playing right there. We're putting a rear main seal in the engine right now. This media is live streaming right now. This is so sick. And the sound quality is honestly so good with that signal converter. 
This is the only way that I've been able to install a head unit in these cars and utilize the factory amp. All the other head units, the only way that I found was installing RCA ports, which is in that static noise video fix that I have. Other than that, if you just buy a plug and play harness and wire it in, you're gonna get static noise in your speakers and your volume's gonna be insanely loud with an aftermarket unit in these cars. But with this head unit and this harness, the static noise is there a little bit, but it's very, very minimal. And the offset volume is completely gone. It sounds great. So yeah, that's it boys, she's completely installed. Interior is completely back together. This was legitimately like a 15 to 20 minute install maybe if you're taking your time. I doing makes that install so freaking easy. Everything is plug and play. So you can just slap it all in the car, plug it in and it's good to go. All you gotta do is start playing with your audio settings after that. So I hope this video helped all of you guys out that have been on the hunt for a head unit for your Civic Si. Don't go anywhere else. Don't waste your money on a Pioneer one and then have to buy the harness separate and buy the steering wheel controls harness separate and buy the dash bezel separate and all that stuff. Just buy the iDoing kit. I'll link it down below. I'm actually gonna be swapping all of my head units out to the iDoing ones, including the head units in both of the Subarus. The Beater WX that we just picked up has got some kind of cheap JVC deck in it and it sucks. And then I have a Pioneer head unit in the STI, but honestly, I love these iDoing head units. And I would not be telling you guys these were good if they sucked. This isn't like a paid promotion or anything like that. These things are sick. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like the video, do all that fun stuff. It really, really helps me out so I can keep making these videos for you guys. Also, if you guys are just searching up head unit info for your Civic Si and this video came up, I hope it helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, you guys. I will catch you in the next one.